Hey, this guy is Jewish, his parents are therapists, that means he's got issues. Make a lot for Eric Ebenante! <laughs> Rizza will never get married because her name rhymes with Rizza, and that poontang ain't nothing to fuck with. Okay, hey, when I say we're ready, you guys gotta lose your boot. Uh, David calls his daughter Boo because one day he's gonna ghost her. That shit was whack as fuck, bitch. You look like an out of work keyboard elf. <laughs> alright, alright. A dirty breadstick, alright. <laughs> Thank you, uh, thank you, honey. I shot the Jew. You're, you're welcome. A tribe called Chicken Breast. Keep going, David. David, looking at you, I can't tell what's been arrested more, you or your heart. Like this nigga been doing all day in them raggedy ass pants taking the knee. Hey, you know what David just did there? He broke the fourth wall. But usually when he does that, he goes, oh yeah! <laughs> David, you look like Ice Cube if you messed around and ate a triple double. I mean, Zara did great her first time, and then no one asked her back, which is like the story of her love life. Zara lost friends after 9-11 because their mission was a success. <laughs> the relationship between Zara and her father is priceless. Unless you have three goats. <laughs> Lonnie hasn't had kids with his wife yet because he wants to be more financially stable before he leaves them. Victor claims he worked at Domino's, but he just drove home so many pizzas they gave him the uniform. <laughs> Speaking of my godson, Victor's kid is named River Sky because they wanted to name the baby after two objects smaller than Victor. <laughs> It's so funny. I'm gonna treat the game with True story, Katrina once actually mistook a KFC for a bank. <laughs> <laughs> Security, 
security. Security, they're making a move. They just bribed Moses with chicken. Good luck. Good luck following that. He, hey, he's out of shape, but he sure is good at those monkey bars. Brandon's the mandingo that ate your baby. Brandon eats by any means necessary, which is why we call him Malcolm XL. Brandon's a real biggie. He puts two packs of Twinkies in his mouth and calls it a shook night. You should have thrown in a DMX. so lazy, he pays off his child support by donating his daughter's plasma. <laughs> and you, why did you want to battle Nick? I mean, you know, Nick's brown, he's Italian, his parents abandoned him. He looks like Robert De Negro if he started to never meet the parents. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you Mexican-looking Italian, you look like Fedora the Explorer. Oh! Nick looks like the football his father never threw with him. Nick's like a meatball, a collection of brown that doesn't know where it comes from. Italians talk with their hands. Nick's parents said... <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> One more joke! One more joke! One more joke! Nick's brown, but Italian enough that girls can experiment on him before fucking black guys. He's a real guinea pig. Oh. Eric, why'd you want to battle Armando? I mean, like, we're both Jews, but he's a Mexican Jew, so I'm sure for his bar mitzvah, he beat, like, a pinata of a Palestinian. <laughs> And, you know, also, he actually told me before the battle, I may or may not have a kid or two. Which sounds like he's pleading the fifth kid. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to battle. Mondo's family escaped poverty in Mexico just so he could be poor here in America. <laughs> a real rags to dishes story. <laughs> Armando, you Islander-looking Mexican, you look like you Hawaiian punch your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Women don't blow Armando because he works at Legoland and they know his small parts are a choking hazard. <laughs> Towers and Armando has two bastard kids. Unlike 9-11, those are two towers you'll always forget about. Oh! Armando's Jewish mom is clearly afraid of showers because the only wet bag she had came inside or out of her. <laughs> Jesus is Cuban, so when he's with a chick and he drops his pants, he goes, Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> That's pretty good. That's, 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 he just told me you're a quarter Jewish, so 
I you, have you, do, you look like Fidel on the roof. Ah! <laughs> Kevin's a terrible actor. Everyone says break a leg to him because that's the only way he'll end up in a cast. <laughs> held Kevin at birth before leaving him forever. Just the first audition, he didn't make the cut. <laughs> Joe sounds like a challenge, Christopher Walken. Minus the Walken. <laughs> Joe wanted to be a lawyer, but his legs couldn't file a motion. Oh. Oh. 